reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash Alex Heights. I'd like to thank Identitech, TFG, Will E, William Myatt, Steve Aldersley, Kurt David, Jason Bates, at Hot Girl Video 69 on Twitter, Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, McLaughlin Andres Glacel, Biff C, and B. Javers for, for sponsoring this video, supporting me, my family, the channel. I appreciate it immensely. I hope you all enjoy the video. I think it's dark and it looks like rain, you said. And the wind is blowing like it's the end of the world, you said. It's so cold, it's like the cold if you were dead. Then you smiled for a second. Do, do, do. Do, 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 I think the word for that is virtuoso. Uh, auteur. Autistic. Mastermind. Anyway, thank you for listening to my mini concert. I hope you all enjoyed. Welcome everyone to the final cure reaction for now. We will come back and pick up a couple albums, probably the top and blood flowers down the line. But for now we are finishing up the cure. Uh, for those who don't know, <clears throat> I do unedited reactions at my Patreon, patreon.com slash alexheights. For $10 a month, you can get access to all of my reactions uh, from Modest Mouse going forward. Uh, unedited, I believe we're at like above 15 reactions now, including this one. So if you're interested, uh, hop on over there. If not, a dollar a month supports the channel. Greatly appreciated. Anyway, Wish, The Cure, 1992. Uh, so we... Well, did we, we didn't skip an album, did we? Uh, oh, Disintegration, which obviously we have done in the past on this channel. Go check that out if you would like to properly align everything. Should that be linked down in the, the comments? <clears throat> Fantastic album, obviously. Uh, and now, three years later, we're coming up on um, Wish, which is just kind of like an alt-rock sort of jangle pop, goth rock kind of thing. I mean, I've heard Friday I'm in Love, which I sort of detest, but that's because I heard it at work all the time and I associate it with work, especially in a retail grocery store, which kind of sucked. But I haven't heard it in like, you know, good quality. So maybe I will appreciate the instrumentation or production at the very least. I haven't heard any of these other songs. It's kind of a long album, um, actually, surprisingly. Um, looks to be about 60, 65, 66 minutes long. So we're just going to hop right on in, get this thing taken care of, and then we'll move on to Sonic Youth afterwards. So, uh, I don't think I have any further ado, nothing to preface this, uh, as far as I can remember. Um, I know some people wanted me to do an EP along with this. Um, but this album's too long to include the EP in this video. Uh, what was that EP? Uh, Lost Wishes from 93. And I don't know how long Lost Wishes is actually. Um, it doesn't say there. Um, but if you, if there's a big demand, I will maybe do, uh, Lost Wishes as a separate video. Uh, let's see here. Um five, five, three, four. So it's 17 minutes long. Um, yeah, if there's a demand for it, maybe I'll just do it as like a song reaction um, and just react to all four in one, one little quick video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do Lost Wishes uh, and I'll just throw it into my song reaction lineup, my daily video lineup. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin with Open.
This might come off as slightly controversial, but I can't help how I feel. I like that more than The Kiss, opening track off the previous, uh, well, two albums ago. Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Um, They both were long, rambling, distorted, warbly guitar jams. But this, I feel, just had, like, enough melody to keep it going. The Kiss was, like, really bland to me. Um, It was very monotone, one note. This at least had some kind of, like, very simple kind of post-punk driving element to it. Um, But it was rooted more in this kind of 90s alt-rock feel. And I liked it. I liked it. I didn't love it. Um, But, like, if I had to choose between The Kiss and Open, I would choose Open. Uh any day okay uh next track hi this is one of the three singles one of which obviously friday i'm in love uh and then a letter to elise apparently all the singles are supposed to be pretty good on here uh so i'm eager to see what this one sounds like this almost sounds like it could be a cranberries song Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. <clears throat> like I said, very cranberries esque. And I mean, um, what was the debut album from the cranberries? I just looked at it a second ago. Came out in '93, and uh, all, very much that alt rock jangle pop. St- dream pop twinge thing that was happening in the early 90s. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? That's what it is. Has dreams and linger on it. Um, yeah, very much in that same vein, so I'm I'm down. I like it. Um, it's also a little bit of a continuation from some of the disintegration stuff. It's not exactly the same, like pictures of you, but uh, they were doing a little bit of jangle on, uh, on disintegration. Um, so I, I can kind of see the, the progression from that so far. This has been, this has been quite nice. Um, I, I see where it lands as far as like genre and era, uh, and it makes perfect sense. And, uh, so far I'm, I'm, I'm digging. All right. Apart track three. I like that the atmospheric tracks have never gone away. They've always been on all the albums. Three for three so far. Um, You can tell by this point that they slash Robert, at least, have really mastered after Disintegration, which, you know, best of their best album, obviously, have really mastered the slow, progressive, ambient, gothic, cold wave kind of mood. Um, And they're able to just fart out these six, seven minute long songs that are very atmospheric, but have an ounce of rock to them to give them some friction and some, you know, some kind of latches onto you a little bit. And it's good. It's just good. Like 
it, this isn't as good as disintegration which is just very finely crafted um but it's this is solid this is quite solid so far um i was not i mean like after hearing friday i'm in love i was like is this going to be like just like a pop album but so like a part is very much cut from the same cloth as the back half of disintegration crazy all right we got a long one here longest on the album looks like from the edge of the deep green sea is it also the same deep water as you? Maybe the same deep water as you is the green sea. It's deep. This album is quite melodic so far. I'm sort of surprised. good um maybe a tad long like just a bit like i honestly wasn't super bored um maybe it was just like lyrically it needed to be that long but there wasn't a ton of variety in the songwriting but the songwriting is engaging enough interesting enough that i i like i said i was not bored um i prefer the first three songs to that one but like only because they're slightly shorter and I don't feel like they, um, I don't, don't want to say that this like took up too much space, but like it could have maybe benefited from like a, a little bit of variety in the composition, but it's still good. It's still good. Anyway, Wendy time. good i i know anytime they bring like the wah-wah pedal on and like get a little funky it's always just okay to me like it's never bad but it's never great uh i like the build-up on this one though the, the climax was kind of nice again the composition like deep green sea compelling kept me interested um when it first started i was like oh no five minutes this is whatever and his his uh, vocal melody wasn't super engaging to me on this one, uh, but the music kind of kept me interested. But uh, this is like a step down from Deep Green Sea. It's not my it's my least favorite so far, but it's still like a five or six out of ten. Anyway, uh, doing the unstuck. It's a perfect day for letting go. For setting perfect day for making out. To wake up with a smile without a this now. You should have done it then, well, it just goes to show.
That was good. I like that. That was a very nice, like, pop rock kind of track. Uh, ounce of post-punk, ounce of jangle in there. Um, very driving. Not too long, not too short. Just, mm. uh, Probably like it as much as the first three tracks, honestly. All right. Friday, I'm in love. I've heard this song many times. Let's see if I can shed the uh, the old ways, and maybe it sounds awesome. Let's go. I still don't like it. <laughs> but here's the thing. Instrumentally, composition, production, melody, all fine. In fact, maybe even great. Um, it's mostly subjective and partially objective in the way I don't like this song. Because subjectively, I heard it on the radio at work all the time, working a retail job that was soul-sucking that I did not enjoy. Um, and like that living for the weekend thing, it just, it felt like, I know this is supposed to be like that uplifting, like same thing as like, you know, school's out for summer. It's like, oh, the weekend is here. You're done working. Um, it doesn't make me feel like free. It just makes me feel imprisoned. <laughs> like, oh, you get to be out for a couple of days and then you got to go back in. And like, I'm so glad to be out of that now. I'm sitting here doing what I love. Hopefully it will become a job. My wife is working in realty with uh, a relative of ours and uh, she loves doing that. And it's like, we don't have to ask for time off and we're just much happier right now. And so it's just like, I, you know, literally no looking Thursday, no looking back, whatever. Um, but objectively, I think maybe the lyrics are just a bit gimmicky because like, I don't know. Occasionally, Robert will do like a, a silly song or a quirky kind of song. Um, but I just like a song about like the nine to five grind and then being free on the weekend. It's just like, I don't know. I, it, it seems a little gimmicky, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about the song. Like I said, a lot about it that I like, but like the main thing the song is about. It just like reminds me of being imprisoned in a 40 hour week job that I hated for 10 years. So let's move on to the next one, Trust. Very lovely piano track. That was great. Um, I, I loved the piano. The piano line was really nice. Um, very slow, steady, romantic, melancholy. Um, nice lyrics. Very lovely. Very good. Okay. Uh, a Letter to Elise. This is uh, one of the other singles. Apparently uh, also pretty good. A little bit of like a dream pop thing going on. Let's go. Something 
I'd say just as good as Trust. In fact, they're almost like mirror songs. Like Trust was the piano ballad. This was the guitar and keyboard ballad. Um, very similar kind of like melancholy romantic songs. Uh, both good. This, this is a very melodic album. In fact, it might be rivaling uh, The Head on the Door for me. Um, but we have a song now called Cut. And like I, I'm familiar with... With, we have we have tracks like object and doubt and screw, they're all one word. This one's called cut. Shiver and shake was bad off of uh, kiss me kiss me kiss me. That was three words that broke the cycle. And not every album has has the bad song near the end, but I have a bad feeling about cut. Let's see. We seem okay so far. I think I was kind of right. I I say it's the worst song on the album, but I don't think it was actually like bad. Um, it's hard to say. Like of the bad Cure songs I've mentioned before, I don't know if this is better or worse than Screw because Screw was just kind of weird and didn't fit in the album, and it was entertaining. Um, this was just a little more bland than the other tracks. You had the like wah wah solo. Um, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it's the worst song on the album so far, I think. I don't know. I could see people liking this one, though. All right, two tracks left. <clears throat> to Wish Impossible Things. Magnificent. Really good. Um, I I like the addition of the viola. That was great. Robert like managed to take the simplicity of post punk like bass melodies and stuff. Um, they're very I don't know, would you call them pentatonic? I don't know what the pentatonic scale is off the top of my head. Pentatonic scale um or is it the diatonic scale i can never pentatonic musical scale with five notes per octave what are the notes c d e g a i don't know i maybe i'm talking out my butt i have no idea uh but they're they're very i suppose it's kind of right in a way um they uh I mean, like, learning some of these melodies on guitar, I notice a trend in a lot of post-punk, um, especially the Cure's, like, bass lines, uh, have very similar musical theory constructions to them, even if I don't know what to call them. Are they pentatonic? I have no idea. Um, he managed... I mean, I don't. I, I attribute this to Robert, but I think Simon is also partly credited here as well, if not quite a lot, that... They managed to take a lot of these post-punk melody 
comp uh the like theoretical compositions and turn them into something very atmospheric and romantic and dreamy and i don't know if other bands were contributing to that but like that was like a very a lot of stuff on the back half of disintegration. Some of the tracks on here, I think, apart was another one kind of like that too. Very slow, uh, intentional, romantic, and it's just like it's so good. It's so good. It's so relaxing. Um, but there's also that there's an ounce of angst in there and an ounce, two ounces of warmth. You know, good. All right. Well, what fitting way to conclude uh, for now? My album binge of the cure with the track end There we are, ladies and gentlemen. And pretty good track. Uh, kind of weird to have like a prayers for rain or pornography type track at the end of this one because I don't know. This album has felt like kind of their best strengths, kind of highlighted in different forms and songs. And it was like I hadn't gotten any kind of like super angsty like pornography esque stuff until this track. Um, but I like the either bass or guitar riff in there. That was nice. Uh, yeah. Wish. This is a good album. Very solid. In a way, might be a little bit better or more consistent than Head on the Door, which is crazy to say coming out of my mouth. Um, Cut, I think, is the worst song here. Wendy Time was okay. Deep Green Sea was good good but like like i said maybe a little long uh friday i'm in love i already kind of talked about that everything else i enjoyed uh open good high great apart great doing the unstuck really good trust fantastic letter to elise fantastic uh to wish impossible things fantastic and end was solid as well good stuff good stuff uh eager to listen to these more and uh, hit you with a follow-up uh in you know however long it takes so if you didn't know i do follow-ups a week to a month, however long it takes me to kind of let the dust settle and figure out how I feel about albums. And I'll come back and kind of tell you how the how I feel, you know, after my first reaction. Um, but yeah, this was, an, this was a nice note to end uh, The Cure on at this point. It was very solid, a nice little snapshot of all of their strengths up to this point. And arguably their last great album, right? Um, Wish from 92. Very nice, very nice. Like I said, stay tuned for the follow-up to see how I feel. Um, and yeah, I will catch you around in the, uh, the Sonic Youth stuff coming up soon. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Things to plug. We got Patreon, of course, patreon.com slash Alex Heights. Dollar a month gets you access to polls that I do every two to four albums, uh, where people can choose from four albums, uh, just kind of, you know, to spice up the, the artist binges I go through with random different one-off kind of albums. Uh, most recent one we did was Hex by Bark Psychosis. Go check that out if you would like. Um, the other thing to plug is the Discord, which we are, if we're not there now, uh, we are, we'll be there very soon. We're almost at 150 members. I think we're at 149 right now. That's including a couple bots, but you know, what can you do? Um, let me, let me take a look real quick. See how many, uh, how many people do we got in here? 151. <clears throat> so that's, that's almost 150, including, uh, including the bots. So head on over there if you would like to do music discussion music recommendations, topster charts, memes, controversial controversial stuff, real talk. Um, got a nice little community there. People who care for, for and about each other. Um, shoulders to cry on, shoulders to laugh on. 
all kinds of nice stuff there. So head on over there if you would like to join the community of people who listen to this man or watch this man listen to things that they like. ooh -wee. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you uh, had a nice holiday season. End of the year is coming up. Uh, eager to get into Sonic Youth in January. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying all the song reactions, everything I've been doing. Uh, trying to keep up, keep daily uploads, uh, all that good stuff. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you're all doing well. I will catch you in uh, Sonic Youth, if not a song reaction coming up. So until then, Godspeed.